Good evening to you all. Welcome to our 11 o'clock prayer. It's now 11.03 and we are here to determine that the blessings of God will be upon you. Pastor Liu, tomorrow is going to be the seventh day. We are in this nine-day journey, this nine holy days. We have begun on Palm Sunday and thus far today, Good Friday, People, they were free. The thorn was removed from upon their lives. And tomorrow, they are going to take back from Satan's hands the authority that was passed on to him the moment that man fell. Because when Jesus was crucified, he carried the crown of thorn onto his head and he prevailed over Satan. The next step he took was to go to the death of hell and take from his hand the authority that he had over mankind. And this is what is going to happen tomorrow. We are going to be here 7 o'clock in the morning in order to take back from Satan's hands the authority that he stole in the Garden of Eden. Because since then, impossible became reality on earth. Because prior to that, there was no such as impossible. Exactly, Pastor Marcos. Jesus took back from the hands of the devil the authority that Adam and Eve had lost in the garden. And this is what we have seen happen in the life of many people. They are losing the authority that God has given to them of life, of abundance, of success, of victory. But the devil is stealing from their hands this key of victory as Jesus went in hell to took back it, and Jesus took it back. Tomorrow is exactly what's going to happen. We are going to give it to that victory in your hands. Those who has an impossible case tomorrow, we are going to make the wall of your life to fall. Do not miss the opportunity to overcome this problem. So what is going to happen tomorrow is basically simply this. As Jesus went into hell, and took from Satan's hands the authority that he had to control, to cause suffering, distress, agony, bitterness, depression, pain, and all kind of darkness to mankind. Jesus took it from him and he restored that which was from the very beginning, the harmony of the creation. And this is what God's going to do tomorrow. God's going to restore. The impossible will become possible. And that which has been a reason, a motive of pain to you, it will be no more. I have in my hands the nine-day chain of prayer. The nine holy day chain of prayer. And we are going to pray right now. Take it in hands. Let us talk to God. Prayer is our communication with God. You watched the testimonies. You heard the word. But now, please close your eyes and prepare for the moment of prayer. In life we have so much pain. Our God and Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, what a wonderful day we have had today in your house. Because indeed, my Father, the thorn was removed from upon people's lives, and people, they were free. And now, O oh God, we are preparing ourselves for tomorrow, Saturday. And it is going to be that as you took over the authority from Satan's hands, your people, they are going to take over from the hands of darkness all that were taken from them because they will regain authority. They will claim, oh God, that which is theirs. And impossible will be but a word. It will no longer, oh Father, be an impairment to your people. It will no longer be an obstacle to your people because be it walls, be it challenges, be it difficulties, whatever it might be, it's not going to stand your people's way. We're so determined, my God, because we believe in you. We know 
that you are with your church. We know that you are with your people. And it is going to be that they are going to take hold of that which is theirs by right. And no one is going to stop them. So bless all those who have been with us in this chain of prayer thus far. Because, oh God, as people commit themselves to the night nights when there is a diseased home, as people, they commit themselves to the night nights when they lose, my God, a family member, a relative, a friend, a colleague. Your people, they have committed themselves to these nine days because these nine days revolutionize the whole world and it is revolutionizing the life of your people, oh God, who now pray with us. With a blessing, we bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And those who agree and believe say, Amen. Amen. So my dear friend, you are blessed. This blessing is upon you right now. Pastor Leo, those who are watching us right now, tomorrow, they can't miss. No, not at all. They cannot miss the opportunity to change their life. And tomorrow, 7 in the morning, get yourself ready from now. Because tomorrow early, it will be the day of your victory. So 7 o'clock in the morning, then half past 8 in the morning, we are going to have the seminar, we are going to have a special gathering, and then 12 o'clock midday, if I'm not mistaken. 10, 12 noon, and 3 p.m. So those are the times you cannot miss. My friend, God is with you. The victory is yours. Tomorrow we'll be back at 11 p.m. to pray with you once again, this time, in preparation for the Lord's Supper of Decision. Sunday, Passover Sunday, because once you decide to place your life in God's hands, everything will be made anew. Arise and shine. Be blessed. Together, we are strong. Join us in the Impossible Kiss this Saturday at 7 a.m. Come and let us march and break down the walls of impossible situations tormenting your life. The walls of incurable illnesses, court matters, financial impossibilities, hopeless situations must fall down. The first Saturday I said, well, this, all the walls in my life must fall down. I said, I need jobs, plenty jobs that I have to choose from. Mm -hmm. And since then, it's just not south, east, west calls, calls, calls. South, east, north. not south, east, everywhere. Everywhere is calling Martin, you now. East, yeah. I'm going east. south this morning from a call from yesterday. But did you accept the challenge to be here? Yeah. When I told you to come in three weeks. That's why I have the, I yeah. have the chain of prayer. Because of your obedience, you saw the results of that faith. Yes. So now we are going to stop. Say amen. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs>